His plan for Columbia Institute for the Deaf and Dumb, now Galladay, exhibits a number of developing ideas. One is an observation that, quote, American college buildings have been generally placed and planned with an equally consistent regard to make the greatest public display possible. They are in this respect Greek and pagan, as the English are Gothic and Christian. Well, despite this tendency on the part of the trustees and architects to show off, you can see in the plan that he developed for this small cottage and in a very urban context, his desire to produce a heavily planted perimeter boundary with a central interior open green and a series of smaller spaces with a system of major and minor paths. Additionally, as, is almost, as in almost all of the campuses he was then to design, residential structures are folded into the edges, in this case for faculty and staff, but in other instances for students as well. He also repeatedly spoke and wrote about design responses to health requirements, in one case, an institution for the mentally ill, seemingly more pressing than for other academic grounds. He wrote, quote, the most desirable qualities in home grounds for a retreat for the insane are probably those which favor an inclination to moderate exercise and tranquil occupation of the mind. The least desirable, those which induce exertion, excitement, heat, or bewilderment, which one can see expressed in the sinuous paths and the multi-layered spatial composition. Well, from 1872 to 1873, uh, following the plan he made with Vox for the city of Buffalo and its park system, Olmsted collaborated with his friend H.H. H. Richardson on the site plan and design for the Buffalo Asylum for the Insane. As in his earlier scheme for Hartford, when he wrote, kick out the lunatic hospital and develop the home, here he, despite the kind of, what I have to say, the massive scale of the institution, uh, he set out to create a pleasure ground with oval walks, groves, and patches of lawn. Subsequently, at Mass General's McLean Asylum, he tried to make a more domestic plan with buildings oriented for fresh air that were separated for fire prevention, for ventilation, and social comfort that was engendered by the breakdown in scale in their arrangement. And you can see here that there's a, there's a garden for women, for, you know, garden for men. There's a, a interestingly enough, a thing called uh, the pasture pleasure ground. One, one is a pasture pleasure ground. I love the idea of that. It's an interesting phrase. 